What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. Ah, I'm now down here. Last time, we went and took on the sixth gym leader, uh, Tulin. We were successful in our endeavors. Uh, and then just kind of took the rest of the episode to just kind of look around the immediate vicinity. In this episode, we are going to head back to Mezagoza to try to, you know, do some more stuff with the classroom. You might be wondering, why am I not over there right now? Well, I was trying to find a decent place to do an intro. I uh, managed to find a hound hour a little bit too far away so that way it wasn't too uh, You know didn't accidentally trigger a battle That it despawned And as I was trying to find one to respawn I found this Um, Not entirely sure the best way to get over there though But I do want to try to get to where that's Stake is. Also taking the opportunity to check in on every single thing that I... Oh, there's a trainer over here. Well, considering that these trainers are generally a lot lower level, I suppose we can take you on. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take out this Nemo real quick. Real quick! I don't know if my eyes are deceiving me or not. I don't know if my eyes are deceiving me or not. Is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? No way! A shiny! A shiny Palmy! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I've been waiting for a shiny this entire game! You are not getting away from me! Ugh. Unfortunately, I can't really do any attacks. Um, I could try yawn. I have Miriam. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I should have saved. I definitely should have saved. I got really excited. Um, yeah, yawn. I don't think Palmy knows any moves that could potentially faint itself. It's not like it has like explosion or self destruct. Okay, nuzzle. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead. I don't really have dust ball. Maybe. Oh, I should've just used a quick ball. I didn't realize I had any of those. Um... You know what? Heal ball, because it's pink! Oh, Almost! Ah, crap. Can't do anything. Um... Oh, but it fell asleep. Unfortunately, I... Yeah, I have to wait for it to get back up. Um, it's not like I have any flying types or anything. Um, hmm. Eh, well, no, because it's ground. I don't really have anything that's super great, so you know what? Jehudi. Why not? Okay, it's fast asleep. It should come back. There we go. Back to the surface. Um, do I really want to keep trying to do stupid Pokeballs? I think we all know the answer to that. Mm. And it woke up. Okay. Um... Do a luxury ball because you know it's a shiny. Let's go! 
Let's freaking go! Palmy, the mouse Pokemon. It has underdeveloped electric sacs on its cheeks. These sacs can produce electricity only if Palmy rubs them furiously with the pads on its four fo four paws. Okay! I I need to bring up my handy dandy random number generator. Oh, uh, excuse me while I go and do that real quick. Da 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 weird, there it is. And then I also gotta bring up my names again. Okay, what was the Pommy? Pommy's male, okay. Do, 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 do. I was not prepared for this at all. Okay, name list is up. Handy dandy random number generator, go. All right, that is taken already. Ooh. <laughs> all right, that'll work. Karma from Metal Slug. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so because Team One was the team that was currently here, Tarma is now part of Team One, which means I have to decide who exactly I want to replace. Team One was kind of okay in terms of its composition. It's just a matter of who exactly do I want to replace. I'm kind of thinking Bolo, to be honest. Just because Miriam I'm still kind of on the, it, a little iffy on. Uh, but then there's also between Miriam and Phoenix, I basically have three normal types. Um, hmm. And Bolo's actually doing pretty well. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Tarma can go to the boxes. Uh, I very much need to figure out who exactly would be replaced. Because you can bet I want to have a shiny Pokemon on my team. Um. Hmm. Yeah, because it's pretty much between any of my normal types. I'm a little bit hesitant to try to do anything with Bolo, to be honest, because Bolo at least has quite a bit of type coverage. Um, Miriam's been pretty good, though. Phoenix, Phoenix has done okay, to be honest, but I almost feel like Phoenix is a little bit middle of the road. It has the same attack as Bolo, less than Miriam. Speed-wise, it's slightly better than Miriam. But it's not as good on its defenses, either. Um... Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that it would be Phoenix, to be honest. I mean, granted, I did... I did give Bolo a better nature, whereas Phoenix doesn't. Uh, but honestly, even taking a look at what is or isn't being used, the only thing I'm really missing is ground type coverage. But I could easily fix that with Arthur. So, you know what? Phoenix, you've been a very reliable party member, but... We are going to bring Tarma along. Okay, and Phoenix, I'm just gonna put down here. Oh, I cannot believe that. We actually got a shiny! <laughs> okay. Uh, I still need to get to where that stake is. Um, okay. I think where this, the stake was up that way. Ah! Okay. What I also need to do is use up a lot of rare candies. Well, not even rare candies. Just a lot of experience candies to get Tarma up to speed with everyone. Um, let's go ahead and maybe do that now. Um, you know what? How much? Actually, I haven't even checked Tarma's stats or anything. Uh, let's see. Tarma. 
Good special attack, low special defense. Quick attack, charge, nuzzle, and dig. Has static for an ability, which is nice. Seems like it's more of a physical attacker more than anything. What other moves does it have? Thundershock, scratch, and growl. Eh, okay, that's fine. If it can learn Thunderbolt on its own, I think that might be good. But it also depends on what its other moves are. Uh, so you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's use one medium candy and see how much we get. Two level ups. Bite. Okay. Um... Charge may be interesting, especially since it would increase special defense. Actually, with the special defense being lowered with that, hmm. Might need to worry about something else. Uh, but we can get rid of quick attack. Especially since it becomes a fighting type later on. Which is actually interesting, because that, then that gives me two. Woo! And it's already evolving! So already we have a Palmo. Okay, and now it becomes a fighting type. Palmo, the mouse Pokemon. When its group is attacked, Palmo is the first to leap into battle, defeating enemies with a fighting technique that utilizes electric shocks. Yeah, the fact that it's a fighting type, I think, would much better suit a more physical attack, especially if it has arm thrust. Okay. Uh, arm thrust. Uh... Entirely sure that's the best move, especially with how weak it is. Uh, but I guess we can get rid of charge. I like how I've just been completely derailed for this entire episode just because I got a uh, palmy. Okay, we'll worry about the rest of that later. I'm gonna need to try to get a little bit more work done on that at a later point. Um, what I need to do instead. Oh, more experience candies. Uh, what I need to do instead is find some way of getting over to that stake. Um... I don't think that's gonna help me. Oh, there's a TM down there! Uh, okay. Go ahead. Grab the TM. Maybe quite a bit. Dragon Claw! Ooh! Look how I'm now being maybe a little bit greedy. It's like, are there any more? <laughs> uh, I don't think I will be able to get that lucky that I can get another one. Okay, so now I'm just basically back to where I started. Um, is there anything else that I can do to get up to where that stake is? I might need to head back. Ooh, do I have to get back to town? I might need to head back to town and kind of do it that way. You know what? I think that's probably a better... What? Oh, that's Cloyster. I think I'll head back to town, travel all the way back over there, and try to find where that stake is. Man, I really wish I could just put a marker on... Wait a minute, I could put a marker on the map. The destination. Um... Okay, I think it was like right around here... I probably should have done that in the first place before going out. Oh well, whatever. Uh, so I will go ahead and meet you guys kind of back over there. Okay, maybe before we go and do that, uh, let's... Let's maybe see if we can't try to get a little bit more experience for our new team member. All right, so what does he have? He has a Raichu. Okay, shouldn't be too bad. Level 43, and he has three Pokemon. At the very least, this will help out Pomo a little bit with getting its experience up without needing to resort to too many candies. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Another two level ups. Probably should have. St oh. Hmm. Now, still gotta keep with the run. 
And while I could have had it out front, it wouldn't exactly be a good use to try to use the other flamethrower. Oh, that did a lot. Okay. All right, well that takes that down. What's his final Pokemon? His final Pokemon is, ooh. Torrent just gets one level. To learn Spark. Okay, um, at least Spark does, is better for battle, whereas Nuzzle is kind of more for catching Pokemon. It's, it's, unless I find another Shiny, I'm probably not really gonna need that. Last Pokemon is a Luxray. Uh, ooh, that's a problem. Um, let's go ahead and send out Arthur. I don't have any good uh, ground type options, so this is probably the best I'm gonna be able to do. I honestly don't know if we'll even get to the school at this rate. Ice Fang! Okay, that didn't do anything, and weird, I thought ice was super effective against rock, and rock also super effective against ice. Okay, uh, I'm not sure why you would do that. Go ahead and do that one more time. Uh-oh. Okay, that did a lot. But we're good. All right. Lots of level ups. Hopefully I'll be set once we actually get to the next gym. Uh, although I think we should maybe focus on what the initial thing we were doing. <laughs> before we focus on anything else. So, let's maybe get back to the stake. Okay. So the stake, I believe, is somewhere in the nearby vicinity over here. Place the marker there. Can we make it over this way? Okay, we can. With... Quick Ball. All right. Uh, I don't see really anything else. There was a TM underneath us. Hoping that we're still in the right place for where I see wind. For where the stake is. If I mess up though, then I know where to point the freaking marker again. Um, okay. The waterfall was going down that way. I hope the stake wasn't, like, over here. I don't think so, though. I think we are in a good direction. Hmm. Okay. Just kind of hover. Okay. This... No, this doesn't seem to be it either. Hmm. Where was the stake? Right here? No. Where the heck was it? Not the waterfall. Okay, um... Maybe head on over here. Uh, there's a Terrasilized Pokemon. Where was the stake? I'm gonna have to try to find out where it was. Bug Buzz? And a Terrasilize Goldock. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna have to retrace my steps as to where exactly this stake was. Because, yeah, I got completely sidetracked and now I'm lost. 
Oh, uh-oh. So I might need... I might need a little bit of time to try to get where my bearings were. Uh, so I... Okay, so this is where I started the episode. Okay, I can at the very least retrace my steps from here, put the marker, and then once again go back to that. Okay. I will get this steak! Darn it! Okay, so the steak was right here. Oh. Yeah, that is very, very tiny. Okay. But at least I know where it is, so yeah. Yeah, I wasn't even searching anywhere near where that was. Yeah. Okay, but at least I know where it is now. So let's maybe try this one more time. For reals. Okay, so at least now that I know where it is... Kind of cliff dive. I feel like I could have gotten here a lot easier. Oh well, whatever. So it should be right here. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Okay. Now that we've spent like the last 15 to 20 minutes completely getting sidetracked, I think we are going to have to push going back to school for next time. Uh, because instead, I think what I'm going to do is, well, hmm. There's a few things that I could maybe do. We made it to the Pokemon Center here, and that's where the next gym is. So what I'm thinking of doing is at least taking the opportunity to try to build up my brand new Pokemon. Just kind of having him out, moving it around. Um, I do know, just because it's been time and, you know, just absorbing from the internet. Palmo's evolution, I know, is kind of similar to how it was with... Uh, Bramblin. It's one of those walking evolutions. Okay, I need to find a lot more trainers. Uh, so I'm going to have to have Pomo out a lot. We're... Somehow got left behind. Uh, okay. So what I can do is just kind of have it go around. Let's maybe do that. Okay, level 38. So it's going to be a little bit tricky without just using a ton of candies. So I'm trying to think what exactly would be the best way to go about this <laughs> for cover. Considering that we need to find 10 trainers somewhere here in the mountains, I think what might not be a bad thing would to just basically have uh, Tarma just kind of follow around. Just so that way we can aim more for the evolution. And just kind of go from there. Just try to find some more trainers and just kind of spend the rest of the episode just doing that. Um, I think this is probably, yeah, because this heads north. Pubchu, Bergmite, a snowball. Single use ball, boosted power, if hit with an ice type move? Eh. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't really go too fast. Yeah, Tarma just kind of loses pace very quickly. It doesn't keep up as well as Bramblin does. Uh, I'm just seeing a bunch of... 
Pokemon, though. I'm not seeing any trainers. I think probably going with the trainer route is probably the better option. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a deli bird! You know what? We don't have you in the Pokedex! Well, 35. Uh, well, this should be a sweep. Yeah, yeah, Jelly Bird and Rocks do not go well together. Oh, a present. Ow. Oh no, it was a recover one. I thought it was a damage one. And down goes the Santa Penguin. Oh. Always weird when it does that. I'm sorry, was Jelly Bird singing like a Jelly Bird parcel? <laughs> All right, uh, let's just kind of keep going around. Another polka doll, uh, some sneezles, lots of sneezles. This is Toddle. Uh, is that a person? It is a person. Oh boy, three gym badges. Yeah, you're gonna need more than three, dude. Anyway, his Pokemon is a Palmot. Okay, um... What the? Oh, that's the Griever. Okay, level 35. Probably the same typing as, uh, Palmo. Um... Hmm. You know what? Miriam. Miriam is a little bit behind in levels compared to the other party members. So maybe just switching in Miriam would maybe the better option. Unless it used arm thrust. That that could be an issue. Yeah. Okay. Um that could very well be an issue. Uh let's go for a rapid spin. Gonna need a sucker punch next time. Uh, unless maybe. Okay, we're good. We're good, and it didn't paralyze, so we are set. Perfect. All right. Well, that worked out pretty well. Kid with six gym badges. Okay, uh, let's maybe recover me. I have a lot of hyper potions. Holy crap. All right, let's maybe continue down the mountainside. So we still, we want to get that item. Never melt ice. Okay, I don't have any ice type moves, but hey, good to have. So maybe see if we can't try to find some more trainers and potentially I am there's Gardevoir here Maybe see if we could potentially get over there. I might need to go in a completely different direction if I actually want to hit town uh, But in the meantime Continue just kind of exploring around for a bit uh, That's another deli bird and Delibird just kind of sticks out with a sore thumb. Everything is just white and blue, and then you have Delibird with bright red. Um, there's a bridge over here. Another Grievered. Uh, Gardevoir. Icy Rock. What levels? Aw. What levels the Gardevoir? Gardevoir is level 36 and is already added to the Pokedex. Uh, so, hmm, it would be good. Unfortunately, it having the fairy type would, what is that? Oh, it's a Psyduck. It having the fairy typing does make sending out, uh, Jehudi maybe a little bit riskier. Just because it actually has something to deal with dark type moves. 
Okay. Just have him try to catch up. And you make... There was a gate over there. Okay, so you're trainer number five in the area, and you have a Jellybird! Jellybird, level 35. Um, I'm not sure if this is a good idea to go for or not, considering I'm nine levels lower. To be honest, it's also a Jellybird, so I am going to take a chance. That was an awful idea. I thought he would just use present. That will show me. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. We'll use rapid spin. Is he also going to use drill pack or is he going to use present? Yep, he's going to use drill pack. All right. I was really hoping that you would just spam present. Well, that's a little unfortunate. All right, let's go ahead. We'll bring Tarma back. We've actually got plenty of revives and healing items now, which is nice. May mean that I can potentially. Uh, potentially actually sell some of this stuff for a little extra money. There's a Cub Chew. Yeah, what is that? Wait, did we already make it to town? We did make it to town! How did we make it to town so fast? I thought we were... Alright. Well, you know what? I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. Just needs to be a bunch of trainers in the mountains. Ah, uh, doesn't have to necessarily be between one gym or the other. Ah, uh, that's another deli bird. Medium experience candy. Curlia. And we have made it into Mon Montenevera. Okay. Well... I guess we can kind of explore town a little bit. The Chansey Supply Store. Um, actually buying vitamins may not necessarily be a bad thing. Ooh, we can buy mints! Oh, cool! Okay, this is actually really good! 20,000 Poké Dollars, a little bit pricey, but I could actually... Ooh, okay. I could actually just... Use the mints to make sure that my Pokemon are the best nature they could possibly be. Oh, this is great. This is a great shop. This is a great Chansey Supply store. Okay. Uh, well, in between episodes, I am absolutely going to want to see what I want for each of my Pokemon. Okay. Uh, let's hit up the Pokemon Center. Don't imagine... Yeah, there's not a rep over here. And I guess we can heal? I'm not sure what exactly would constitute it being registered on the map, but at the very least, actually using the Pokemon Center would be guaranteed to actually uh, get it registered. Okay. Uh, so that's just a regular house. Uh, there's an Obama Snow. Uh, another restaurant. Hmm. There's an item back over here. Covert cloak. Uh, I'm sorry, what does it do? I didn't get a chance to read that at all. Uh, let's see. Covert cloak. Item held by a Pokemon. This hooded cloak conceals the user, tricking the eyes of its enemies and protecting it from additional effects of moves. Additional effects of moves, you say? So all it does is just... It protects it from, like, flinching or any secondary effects. That... Hmm. That actually sounds really good. Uh, okay. 
Uh, so what all is kind of around here? You doing good, Tarma? Let's see, sandwich shop, sandwich shop. Uh, food? Shik kebab. Yeah, food. Kebab and rice balls, okay. Uh, doesn't look like there's a whole lot else here. And here's the gym. So this is the ghost type gym. Oh! Oh, you know what? That, that, that tracks. Because I was reading the descriptions a few times. MC of RIP. Yeah, apparently the gym leader is a world-renowned rapper. So yeah, having equipment like that definitely tracks. Um, let's see. I'm wondering if I haven't already gotten the steps, if it would be easier to just kind of get the experience beforehand. Uh, but I guess we could just kind of experiment a little bit. We'll go with four. Okay. That was five levels. Thunder wave. Uh, no. Oh, there we go. We already got the steps. All right, in one episode, our Palmy has fully evolved into a Palmot. Palmot, the hands-on Pokemon. This Pokemon normally is slow to react, but once it enters battle, it will strike down its enemies with lightning-fast movements. Hopefully it has a better fighting-type move, too. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Revival Blessing? What does that do? Revival Blessing. The user bestows a loving blessing, reviving a party Pokemon that has fainted and restoring half of that Pokemon's max HP. I'm sorry. What? It's a, it's a revive. It is a revive in move form. That is... Okay, I I am completely shocked that that is even a thing that exists. Oh! <laughs> oh, what do I want to get rid of for that? I guess I could maybe get rid of Bite? I already have a dedicated Dark type user. And... Yeah, I'll get rid of Bite. <laughs> a little snob. That's not even something like, oh, it, like, it takes down the user for that. That's just a thing that happens. All right. So 10,000 for a large one. Slam, no. Uh, let's go ahead. Four more mediums. To level 37 now. Starting to run pretty low on this stuff. Uh, I've got 15 rare candies though, so if I could. Hmm. Uh, how much more experience does Charma need to level up? A thousand. Okay, then maybe. Four? Oh, no, it's by 100. Okay, so another six extra small can. Oh, you know what? No, seven, because it'll need to round up. Perfect. Okay, and in terms of levels, if I can... If I can just have it reach uh, the others to 45, so that would be... Uh, looks like seven rare candies. Perfect. Entertainment. I don't think entertainment's that good of a move. Uh, let's see. Odd rhythm that compels the target minimum, making the target's ability the same as the... I don't want to give them... Oh, it changed! It's now Volt Absorb! I don't want to give them Volt Absorb! 
Close combat! Oh, there we go! That's a good fighting type move. Hell yeah! Let's get rid of arm thrust for that. Okay! And just like that, we have caught us a shiny Pokemon and have now caught it up to the rest of the team. All in one episode. And with that, we're going to call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. We got completely sidetracked this episode. <laughs> I think it was worth it, though. And we are absolutely for real this time. I'm going to start in Mezagoza. I'm going to start in Mezagoza this time. And we'll just do some school stuff there at the start of the episode. We'll go and do some classes. That person's just walking in place and has disappeared. Went into the ether. Okay. We'll, we'll go, we'll do some classes, we'll spend the entire time just doing that, and we'll try to see what more we can do with, like, the teachers that are around and whatnot, and maybe try to get a little bit closer to them. Considering that, ooh, more experience candy. Considering that we have a lot of classes opened up to us, we've actually just, we just have access to the remaining two gyms. I'm not sure which one I necessarily want to take on first, though. Um, part of me wants to take on Glaciato first. Uh, just because it's the one that you could go to first and then head up this way. Uh, but that'll be something that I decide for another time. For now, next time, we're going back to school. Until then, everyone. Take care.